Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ken Kirschenbaum, and that handsome guy on the screen with me is Troy Iverson from Avant Garde. They're out in Utah. That's where their office is located, but they're really all over the place, all over the country, as you'll find out very shortly. So this is our first uh, presentation in the 2020 Central Station webinar series. And uh, so Troy is going to set the path that, that uh, all others will emulate, I'm sure. And uh, uh, during, the, during the presentation, which we hope to keep rather short uh, and leave, leave time for questions. So, so if, if uh, don't accuse Troy of brevity, that's, that's uh, something that I've asked him to do and everybody else, uh, uh, but he'll cover very quickly what, what Avant Guard is about and, and really why you should be using Avant Guard uh, tomorrow, I'll be substituting a bond guard for the next central station. But but that's that's uh, uh, what what this program is actually all about for you to hear the differences uh, uh, and similarities of the various central stations that are all over the place. Uh, uh, those of you that have signed on, hopefully know how to use the question uh, button on your computer. Please. Uh, ask all your questions. We'll, we'll, uh, I'm not going to interrupt Troy while he's uh, presenting, but when he's all done, we'll have the questions. We will go over them, and uh, hopefully that we'll be able to spend a uh, half hour to an hour uh, 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 going through things. So I'm going to uh, get rid of my picture pretty soon. Right. Eileen is with me, and you're going to do it? Yeah, there he goes. Okay, we're going to turn this over to Troy. And you see me okay? Troy, it's, all, it's, all, it's all yours. Well, appreciate it. And I promise you, this is not going to go an hour. Uh, we talked about this, Ken, and, and we want to keep this short and sweet. But um, first of all, thank you, Ken. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, everyone at that team uh, for all you do for the industry and uh, allowing us central stations to talk about uh, who we are and what we're about. And uh, that's what I'm excited about today. Of course, I wish everyone well with this pandemic going around the world and hope you're all happy and safe and business is going well and um, and wish you well, of course. But let's talk about Avantgarde Monitoring Centers. Uh, some of you may know us, some of you may not know us. And that's the point today. We want you to, to know who we are after this uh, presentation, uh, a few slides that I have today. So um, let's talk about where we currently monitor. Um, so we monitor really all of North America. Uh, of course, the vast majority of the United States, we have a slew in Canada, Mexico, Caribbean islands, and also in Australia. And um, we were established in 1977 and uh, we're licensed in all the necessary states that uh, we need that monitoring stations are asked to be licensed in. And it, that's an important feature that we take we, in fact, we have a full-time uh, employee that uh, all she does is take care of our licensing in the states and counties and cities and municipalities, and it's a, it's a big job, but uh, we take that very, very seriously. Um, the industries that we cover, uh, you know, we have the security, the fire, the PERS, the IoT, smartphone apps, cloud monitoring, environmental, automotive, and much more, but those are the few, the main ones that uh, generate most of our revenue is from those specific industries that we monitor for some certifications of course which are important uh, we're part of the monitoring association um, we have a board member our presence on the board of that association we're five diamond uh, monitoring station ul listed fm approved and you could see all the other qualifications and associations that we have we're part of mama which is the medical Alert Monitoring Association, we're proud to be part of that, and BBB, and, and really we're part of a lot of the, I could have put all the state associations that were on here, but that would take up the whole screen, And um, but we're proud that we uh, are part of a lot of the state associations and are, get to see all of our dealers in each of those states as well. Um, I'm going to do a little bit different, uh, instead of just really focus heavily on only technology or only our operators. I want to talk to you about today of what Avantgarde represents and who we are and our culture. And I think that's so important as a dealer. Uh, your monitoring station is one of the most important partners that you will uh, that you will have. You have your manufacturer of equipment partner and really your uh, probably CRM, and then your monitoring station are your 
biggest partners that you have. So it's important to choose the right one. Our core values at Avantgarde are we care first. First being an acronym for fun, innovative, relationship, service, technology, and trust. And that's what I'm going to focus on these next few slides for the next few minutes of we care first and how we do it. First of all, fun. Uh, we at Avantgarde, we love to work hard, but we also like to play hard. And uh, we have what we call an elite advent adventure series. And uh, these are for our current dealers, our potential dealers, our partners. It's a great opportunity for us to get to know you and you to get to know us. We have you come into to Utah. That's where our corporate offices are. We show you around our facilities, let you meet our people. We teach you about our culture there at Avantgarde and the services that we can provide. And then we fly you off to a fun destination for the next couple of days. Uh, a couple of examples you see here, we went down to Southern Utah. There's great Moab, it's in Moab. There's awesome jeeping. The slide below that, we went to Zions National Park. We rented these Vander Halls or slingshots. If you haven't ridden those, they're so fun to, to cruise into. But the point of these is that you network, that you learn, you grow, and you see what other dealers are doing and you have fun and build those relationships and you get to know who we are. So if you like whitewater rafting or four wheeling or fly fishing on the Green River, that was a great one. Um, I put an email on here. If you are interested in joining our Elite Adventure Series, email me at fun at agmonitoring.com. We'll put you on the list. We'll give you more information. And uh, that's a great way to get to know who we are here at Avantgarde. Uh, the next one, uh, innovative. Now, of course, with our current uh, software, which is Stages, we have uh, a slew of different reports uh, that you could have. And so any uh, reports that you currently want, we could get and, and automate those, create those, customize those. But we've also have this great dashboard. And this dashboard is a great data uh, visualization tool that really could help our dealers minimize attrition maximize monitoring efficiency and capitalize uh, on service opportunities. And uh, how does it do this? Well, if you are a dealer, instead of looking at a lengthy report every day, you could quickly log into to your dealer dashboard and you could see uh, these little widgets. And these are just a few widgets. We just did a quick uh, picture of a few on here, but there's a, a whole myriad of different widgets that uh, we've created and by the way if you want different widgets we're happy to customize those and find those we're always looking for new ideas but uh, as you can see here what accounts are in runaway what are my weekly top alarm offenders who's sending the most alarm signals and how many are they sending we feel that this is a great widget in the fact that if you see here travis on the top here sent seven alarms this week that's, that's seven alarms that he's having, something's going on, that's a little too much. And you could drill in, call Travis, see what's going on. Maybe he needs help with training or see, maybe there's an issue. We feel that this is a great efficiency tool to help you with attrition as well. So you could see what accounts are, are sending so many accounts. You could see um, the operator handled uh, events or we call it an alarm factor number. And I'll talk a little bit more about this alarm factor number and why you should know what your alarm factor number is for pricing purposes here in a few extra slides down the road there uh how many alarms did i add or accounts that i had last night how many have i added this week or this month and how many have i canceled you could quickly see uh everything you need to know we have all the data here at our central station we want to share it with you in a quick and easy manner that you can see visually and be on your way um the next relationships Again, it kind of goes along with fun, but we love relationships. We enjoy seeing our dealers. We travel throughout the country to visit them in their offices, meet their staff, and build relationships this way. But we also love when uh, dealers come and visit our offices. We have a lot of trainings at our office and uh, partners we partner up with and come and teach about what they, uh, our dealers, what's the latest and greatest. Uh, this is one that we did right before COVID. We have an annual AG ski event. It's a lunch and learn. To give you an example, dealers will fly in in the morning. We have trainings uh, for five hours in the afternoon uh, by, by our partners. 
and then we go to a nice dinner and the next day we go to world-class skiing and uh, have a great time if you don't ski that's okay still come out there's amazing lodges that you come and eat lunch and, and watch and just be on the mountain and be away from your office for a little bit again the whole purpose build relationships of trust build a network with uh, those around you and learn and grow and see what's the greatest. And that's a big part of uh, who we are at Avantgarde. We love to build relationships with our dealers. Service, of course, is a huge part of what we do. Uh, there's some numbers on the screen that you could see here, our average response times. We staff accordingly to keep that uh, average response time at, at 10 seconds, which is amazing. And uh, we have, you can see how many dealers we have, uh, 400 plus employees, two fully redundant call centers in Utah and Idaho. And we'll talk a little bit about those. Uh, interesting note, a third of our employees are, are uh, fluent in a second language. The vast majority of those are Spanish speakers, but we have a slew of other uh, languages that we uh, offer as well. Uh, you could see we receive 12 million plus signals each month that roll through uh, our, our uh, call centers and we've spent an uh, enormous amount of money on technology infrastructure uh, here at Avantgarde as well. So let's talk a little bit about technology and I could spend days on our technology and I know we only have a few minutes so I don't want to bombard you. I know there's a lot of words on this screen but uh, really the as you read through this, we truly are 100% redundant central stations with locations, generators, database receivers, et cetera, et cetera, as you see here. We're grateful that we were set up in advance. Our IT team had us scored away for a virtual workforce when this pandemic hit. We were already set up, ready to go, and we didn't miss a beat. Um, our operators are still currently working from home. We have a few in the office, but uh, the vast majority are working from home and doing a great job. Our IT team has set them up that to make sure they're uh, encrypted with private networking for, for our operators and uh, they're handled correctly. Toll-free reroute, uh, Avantgarde pioneered this service and so all you other central stations out there, you're welcome for that. Um, we've, um, we're proud of that. And um, as you go down, we're gonna talk a little bit about our AG Chat, our technician app. An interesting one that we're working on now is the MLS. Let's talk about this for a minute. You're a dealer. You get a report every few weeks, and which shows you which ones of your accounts are selling a home. Now, why would we want to send this to you? Well, a couple of reasons. One is that you could really reach out to your customer, see where they're moving, and of course, sell them an, an alarm system in their new home. But two, you could also, when they do sell, you have your alarm system in there, you know. Uh, they just sold and you could talk to the new buyer of the home your the panel's already in their home let's sign them up as well so a good double dipping opportunity to for you and help again with your attrition but also double dip and help you build accounts and so we're excited about that service coming up as well um, a few other services you see on there for technology that we love um, and we hope that you're using we use stages uh, we feel that's the best automation platform out there in the market and we're proud of it and it has a lot of services um, out there that uh, we could definitely talk about at, at a time you want to call in. A couple uh, of our new services that we've provided over the last year uh, are we have an in-house development team that's amazing and fantastic. The AG chat on the left, let's give a scenario here of this chat. Uh, Ken has a, his home and let's say uh, Stacy and Eileen are his responsible parties or contacts. An alarm goes off at Ken's home. Instantaneously, he will get a text, Stacy will get a text, Eileen will get a text message. This text message says, alarm at Ken's home. To learn more, click the here, and you will go into a web browser. This web browser opens up to a chat, and you can see as the bubbles are on there, you can see as they log in, their name bubbles up to a color, so you know they're logged in and are in the chat room. If it's grayed out, you know they're not in the chat room. And you could talk to each other. Was that you? No, that wasn't me. Should we dispatch? You could dispatch from here with a pass, or excuse me, dispatch will take you right to our operators, or you could dismiss the alarm with a passcode, and that will dismiss the alarm. All this will be in the history that goes into stages, so you could see who was saying what, and uh, who dispatched or who dismissed the alarm. And what we have found is that roughly 60% of our calls go 
but all of our text messages are answered and i'm sure uh, for the end users and the great experience and the great and that's what we want a good customer experience for them and they expect services like this the uh, picture on the right is our ag app uh, for technicians uh, yeah it's for uh, put accounts on and off test which is great you can see the history which is great uh, but what we like about it too is that it, it uses the GPS of the phone. So let's say the technician is going to Ken's home at 1234 Park Avenue. He, uh, the technician pulls up, he looks at his phone, he opens the app and he says, oh, looks like you're at Ken's uh, uh, house. Do you want the penthouse suite on test? You put yes, whatever zones you want on test for however long you want to put that on test. You go to work, your technician does what he needs to do. And then he could take that account off test or it'll automatically take off test depending on how much time he wants on there. And it's a great tool. Plus, you could see all the other accounts that are close to Ken's house that you may want to do service. He's like, oh, here's a whole slew. So you could see accounts near you. You can see what are all accounts are near uh, your technician. So he could help make it, again, efficiency when he's there. Uh, for all you dealers out there that have your own central station, this slide is for you. Uh, we offer a hybrid monitoring option for dealers with their own central station. We've seen great success, and we understand a one size does not fit all. Um, let me give you a few examples of central stations that we have worked with over the last little bit. A couple of central stations just want to use technology only. Uh, they want just redundancy. They want to use their own operators 24-7, but they need a redundant central station. They want to be UL listed. They want stages. We offer that to them. Another example is a dealer uh, monitors accounts only from uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. After that, they move all the accounts traffic to come to us. So we take the swing shift, the graveyard shift, all the weekends, all the holidays, and they, the dealer does not have to worry about staffing swing shifts, graveyard shifts, holidays, weekends. We take care of those, but yet you still have your operators doing eight to five, great. And you get all the uh, stages and redundancy, UL listing uh, on top of that. Uh, another uh, example is a dealer. Uh, they only want to monitor low priority signals during eight to five. Avantgarde is going to monitor all your high priority signals 24 seven. And then what this dealer is or a few dealers have decided to do is saying, look, all these low priority signals are coming to us. We want to turn those into service calls anyway, so we're going to take those. And uh, they love that. They, again, get our redundancy, get our uh, uh, their um, phone systems, their UL listings, et cetera. So a lot of different options. We'd love to talk more about this. So if you're interested in this hybrid monitoring approach, please let us know. And then, of course, we've had dealers that just completely shut down their central stations, not worth uh, spending all the money to keep up with technology. And so they close their central station down and we take care of that as well. And there can be some that have started at one and they go to the next and eventually over the next few years, they're like, man, just do it all. You guys are really good. Just do it all. And, and uh, so we're very flexible with that end of it from there. Uh, let's talk about uh, keeping in the know. Uh, I hope all of you uh, are part of our lists of blogs or news or webinars that we have. If not, uh, there's our websites that are on the screen there. Please join our uh, webinars or blogs, newsletters that we send out on a weekly basis. They're great. We keep you in the know of security, PERS, IoT, uh, whatever you want to know. We also have hero stories. Our operators are called heroes uh, internally here at AvantGuard because they save lives and property. And we uh, love to publish what our, our heroes are doing and success stories, what we call them. So if we save a life and property, we will do an article about it. And those are great reminders of why we do what we do every day is, is help people. And so please join those. Uh, you just sign in and log in for that. We love our partners. Uh, there's a few slides here that I'll go over uh, some of our partners here. Uh, security partners you can see on here. Uh, we have PERS partners. Uh, we do a lot in the PERS industry as well. So if you're interested in getting the PERS, let us know. We'll help you get into the PERS. There's our partners list there. Uh, business development partners, uh, our in-house development team, 
has created a great uh, API documentation that uh, integrate with all of these partners and specifically a lot of these CRMs that we've integrated with as well. Finance partners, are, uh, we love our finance partners. I know you as dealers uh, are looking for, always looking for money. And um, so here's our finance partners, an interesting new service that I'm excited uh, that we're gonna be launching here that we just learned about from one of our funding partners <clears throat> is they're gonna be offering, make them a little bit more unique is identity theft protection for the end users. <clears throat> so a way to uh, gain more stickiness with your, uh, your, your end users. And also they have network and device security, tech support uh, that they're offering. Um, and so we could talk about it, at, uh, call me about it. We'll, we'll, uh, we're just launching this with these partners. And so we'll let more information to come on that, but uh, we're excited about that service. If you want video, we do a lot of video and here's the video platforms that we've integrated with. And uh, we, we see a video continuing to grow uh, rapidly, in fact. And so uh, if you're interested in getting the video, let us know. We'll talk to you about these and make some introductions for you as well. Of course, we had to make a slide with legal and insurance. Uh, it's important that uh, you partner with a good uh, attorney. Ken, we feel, is amazing and he does so much for this industry. And uh, so we hope you use Ken uh, for not only his contracts, but any legal needs that you need. Uh, we also uh, partner with the Insurance Center. They're a great company that understand the insurance industry of the security world. And speaking of insurance, uh, we do require, and we hope all of you dealers out there have not only general liability insurance, but E&O and professional insurance of at least a million dollars. We require that at Avangard. I know other central stations are starting to require that. If you're a competitor of mine, I suggest you start requiring that. That is very important that you do. And so just plan on uh, uh, adding that e and and professional on top of your policies. And so a great practice that you need to do. On our homepage, this, we have a pricing calculator on our homepage. So let's talk about pricing a little bit. Are we gonna be the cheapest in town? Nope, we're not gonna be the cheapest in town, uh, but we have a way for you to get really, really good pricing if you do a few things. And this pricing calculator could help you with this. So if you want to know where you're at, an idea of pricing with us, you could go on our homepage, you could put in there how many subscribers you have, and then how many operator handled events that you estimate sending uh, us per month. And there's a sliding scale on there, and that will give you an idea of where the pricing is. Uh, so you may ask, well, how do we get our alarm factor lower? And that alarm factor is the number of operator handled events divided by the number of accounts that you have. If you don't know your alarm factor as an alarm dealer, you need to know your alarm factor. Divide your operator handle events by the number of accounts and that'll give you your alarm factor. Well, you say, well, how do I get my alarm factor lower so I could get better rates? Maybe down to that $3 rate, that 250 rate even or lower. Well, you use our chat feature. You use SMS text messaging on low priority signals instead of having our operators make those calls. You use the dashboard and you find out which uh, customers of yours are sending uh, excessive signals and find out why and help them so their signal traffic goes down. That's how your alarm factor is going to go down, and that's how you're going to get a better price with Avantgarde, and that's how we negotiate uh, with you. And so uh, if, if you want better pricing, great. Let's talk about it. But again, we, we expect that your alarm factor number is going to go down, and we'll help you do that. When you want to move your accounts over, to Avantgarde, we're gonna ask you for a few things. We're gonna ask you to make sure you're licensed in the state or states that you will do business in, that you have insurance, GNL, and errors and emissions and professional. And we're gonna ask for a, a couple months history of your account alarm traffic. So we could create or find an alarm factor number. And then from there, we will uh, get you the best price possible. So um, I have, uh, here's the end here, but don't cut me off yet, Ken. Um, I want to play just two quick recordings for you. Um, again, remind us who, why we all do what we do. Uh, I understand there's approximately around 2,700-ish central station in the United States, ranging from very small to very big. But every day, uh, we take alarms. We help people. And I want to share two quick calls. The first call 
is a customer calling in to say thank you. We all like to hear thank you of what we've done. So I'm gonna turn my volume up here and let's see if we could hear this. Okay, here we go. Constance, this is Brent. Do you need help? No, I'm just running another test and I wanna thank you. On the 3rd of June, I used this button to call in <laughs> and I got help. And I just need to tell you, I ended up, I was in kidney failure, renal failure. And I got a helicopter ride to Salt Lake. So I just wanted to thank you guys for for being there and for helping me get the help I needed. You're certainly welcome. I'm glad we were able to help you out. And I mean, that's what we're here for. Don't we all love those calls? To, uh, again, our operators help people every day. This operator saved a life. She got airlifted to save her life and grateful that she called in to say thank you. This last call is a PERS customer. Uh, it happened to be there's a caretaker at this customer's home and the operator happens to find out that it's their birthday. Let's see what this operator does. James, this is Mariah. Do you need help? Okay, so everything is all right? Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And may I ask who I'm speaking with? All right. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. And if James ever needs help, he can press his button. Thank you. All right. And I do show today is James' birthday. Yeah. Would uh, is he there? Yeah. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy birthday to you. All righty. Well, you guys have a great day. Make sure you do the same. All right. Bye. I love that call. And so you may ask what makes Avantgarde different? Well, our operators are known for their customer service. They love the customer, the end user, and uh, they found out it's a birthday. They sing happy birthday to them. Again, why we do what we do, we save people's lives and property, and we make people's day by singing happy birthday as well. So Thanks for uh, listening to my presentation. Uh, Ken, let's open it up for some Q&A. Okay, I'm back. Uh, here's the first question, I'm not sure I understand it. What about the third station in South Utah? I don't know what that means. Is yeah, that a question? someone, we, we, uh, we announced that we're gonna be making a uh, third central station in Southern Utah. We have land, we have plans and uh, as of right now, because of the pandemic, we put that on hold. We're excited to, to build a third central station. <clears throat> but in, interesting enough, we did find that uh, working remote uh, gives us a, a more opportunity and, and opportunities for we don't have to build it right away. Uh, but we do have plans. We will be building it here shortly. And so we'll continue to announce that as that goes through. You, you know, when we had our first, uh, uh, not, not our first, but we had a webinar uh, uh, earlier this year. And we talked about how central stations were adapting to the COVID issue and, and the closed economy issue. And uh, uh, your president, Josh, was, was on it. Um, and uh, how's that going? It sounded like the people that participated had it, had it in, in hand, but, but uh, how's it going? That's going good. Yeah, we, we didn't miss a beat, luckily. As I mentioned, uh, our IT had us prepared. We didn't understand there would be a, a a global pandemic we knew something would happen sometime that we'd have to go remote so we were luckily prepared for that but uh, when it hit uh, all the operators were up and ready and we've trained for it and uh, so it's going well and it's still going well we are not in a hurry to get back uh, to our offices we want to make sure that uh, our employees are taken care of and so 90 percent of our staff is still working from home and doing a great job and keeping up with those response times and and uh, doing what we need to do so it's it's going great Okay, all right, let's get back to these questions. Is your, is your station M2M cellular GSM compatible? It is, yes, and that was on, one of their logos was on there, and uh, yes, we do work with M2M. Could you just describe what that means to someone like yeah. me that doesn't know anything? Yeah, you bet, and so this M2M is a module that, uh, it's a company, M2M is a great company that we partner with. They have a little module that they will plug into the security panel to make that a a cellular or GSM or cellular capable. And uh, especially with the sunset going 
right now, this is a great, that's a great tool that helps uh, these dealers with the, the 3G sunset coming, this M2M is an option for them. You, you, you use that device to go from two to three? Uh, uh, three? Well, three to four. Three yeah. to four? Uh -huh. Oh, uh, that requires a service call, I guess. It would, yes. Do you charge extra for unsupervised open and closing reporting? Yeah, great question. Um, our retail uh, price list is yes, we do. And uh, depending on um, how many you have, how big you are, just like everything, it depends on that. But uh, the, the, the short answer is yes, we do charge for unsupervised open and closing. What that is, Ken, is just sending a, a whole slew. Every time your account or your uh, it, it has a motion, even if it's not armed, it's sending a lot opens and doors of uh, sending a lot of signals to us and a lot of receiver traffic coming in. And so that's why we have that additional charge. It's very small. Uh, but we do charge for that. Okay, here's another question. Lowering the alarm factor. Use manufacturer tech services to assist with panel programming. That's not a question. I guess that's a comment. That, that there you is go. A question. Okay. There you go. Make sure your uh, panel is programmed correctly, as I'm guessing what they're saying, and that will help with to uh, make sure they're not sending excessive signals to us, and that will help lower that alarm factor. All right, here's a question which I'll, I'll comment on when you do. Uh, is your central station a fire department, a New York City fire department approved central station for fire alarms? We are not a uh, New York fire alarm. So if, if some of our dealers, we do have some dealers that have just traditional security in New York City and they have fire new, and we've actually uh, passed those on to some of our competitors because we are not, we don't have the volume. Uh, if a dealer is large enough and they have a lot of fire accounts, commercial fire accounts in New York, great. We're happy to do it and we can do it. It's not an issue. We just haven't had the volume to justify us doing that. No. And I and uh, that was asked by a New York um, fire alarm company, as a matter of fact. Yeah. So if they're interested and they have a lot of accounts, we're happy to do it. Uh, we, but the answer to the question, we currently are not. No, it, 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 there's a, there's. There were 12 companies, 12 central stations. Out of, you mentioned 2,700 in the country, there were about 12, maybe 14 that are, are authorized. I haven't checked the list lately. Maybe it's grown a bit. Uh, if anyone here that's on uh, knows whether it's grown, you can, you can let us know. Hit the question button and give me an answer. I see a couple of fire experts on here. Uh, but there's, there's only a handful of, of uh, central stations that can do New York City fire. and People in New York City think that that is the uh, only place in the world, quite honestly. Uh, I'm sure there are other uh, cities or, or locales that also require a, a local uh, central station monitoring. In fact, the, uh, in, in Westchester, uh, they kicked all the central stations out and you have to use the government uh, uh, 44 control, I think it's called. Uh, so, so uh, if you need a, a specialty type uh, central station for one or some of your accounts, then you have to deal with that. Uh, you have to go to one of those companies. Right. Here's more. How well do, do your dispatchers provide technical help? Reset, no set beeping. Yeah, for sure. And so we offer that uh, after hour service. Uh, we, uh, yeah, and so those tier one is what we call it, tier one, how to stop a beeping on a, a panel, a certain manufacturer's panel, we can handle that. Um, we'll talk with you as a dealer, we'll set you up and we'll find out which panels you're using and we'll uh, make sure the instructions are correct on the customer's notes. So if they call in and at two in the morning it's beeping, it'll be on the notes, they'll know how to silence that alarm until the next morning and then they'll send a, uh, an email or out to the dealer, let them know to follow up that next business day. Okay. We need some more questions or else we can all go to lunch shortly. There you uh, go. I want, I, want, I want to mention to any of the dealers out there that are looking for a central station that I can tell you that Avant Garde is really very, very accommodating, uh, almost aggressive in accommodating 
dealers and dealer needs. Uh, uh, and they're to be commended for that. Thanks, Gail. So, 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 so you need to know that. Not, not all central stations are accommodating. Is there an end user portal and or app for them to obtain alarm history information? There is, yeah. We have an end user portal they could log into. Uh, and we have a dealer portal they could log into as well, but the end user, it's it's a view only, so they're not going. We don't allow them to change anything, but they can uh, see the history, print reports. Again, that's a view only, and, and yes, we do have that option. The, that that raises another interesting issue: who who can make changes on customer accounts? Yeah, so we give the dealer when they set up with us, um, we give them the option to who from their staff. Uh, can make those changes and we have different authority levels so if the owner is the only one who wants to make changes great if he wants to have Eileen be the only one who makes changes great we could do that and then all the technicians can be view only so we give it's a great flexibility of different authority levels that we could give. Yeah this follows up on that do, de do dealers enter their own account data the zones RPs whatever that is passwords etc Yes, they do. We require our dealers, we have the tools to do it, whether it's online, through their phone, uh, to do this, or we integrate with uh, great CRM partners. And so we require the dealers to input their own data. RPs is responsible parties can, so a contact. So if you have a contact, whoever your contacts are, they put those and change those. So the answer is yes, we require the dealers to do that. And we give them the tools to make it as easy as possible to do that. Okay. Well, all your competitors ran out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we uh, nothing wrong with competition. Uh, we get along with most of them, and okay. uh, we have a lot of great services. We'll learn about them over the next uh, little bit, but uh, we're very proud of what we do. We know we're fantastic at what we do, and you as dealers out there, give us a call. You see the information, our toll-free number, our sales uh, at agmonitoring.com or our website to learn more about us. Have us come visit your office, get on a call, come visit us, whatever it is. We want to know you and we want you to know us. What's the best time of year to come out to Utah? Hey, do you like golfing and mountain biking, boating, RVing, or you know, SU or ATVing, summer, fall, spring? If you want skiing, winter. Uh, it's a, just the best skiing in the world. So Utah's fantastic. And Idaho, our redundant central station, same kind of climates there. So any time of year will make it uh, a great time. And if you can't make it out to Utah, I think Troy knows how to use Skype or yeah. or, uh, or uh, Zoom or something right. like that. And you can, have a, you can have a conversation with him that way. Absolutely, and our whole sales team is ready to go and we have a great team. Or we'll see it at the, hopefully the, the shows will start opening up and we'll see it at the national shows and state shows and come visit our booth if you see us there as well. Okay. All right, so I want to I want to thank Avant Guard. I want to thank Troy, and I want to thank all of you for attending. And uh, we have another Central Station presenting tomorrow, uh, uh, and almost and every day, as a matter of fact, for the next uh, three weeks, I think. So we're going to be very busy. And uh, I'm sorry that Troy set such a high bar for these webinars because uh, it's going to put a lot of pressure on on everyone starting tomorrow. Uh, uh, but I guess that's a good thing. So again, thanks everybody, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. And Troy, thank you so much. It's always nice to see you. You too, Ken, thank you. Thanks everybody. Stay safe, healthy, bye, see ya. Bye.